Folks, middle school students enrolled in a family and consumer science class are growing herbs and vegetables with an indoor tower garden. They're called vertical aeroponic gardens, and there's a lot of science that students are learning with this type of gardening. Okay, so you're going to layer it. Remember, you're not going to look like that picture, okay? Mrs. Priscilla Prather teaches family and consumer science, which in the past was known as homemaking. While there's still cooking and baking being taught as part of the curriculum, students are also learning about food sustainability by growing their own. We're so used to our plants and our food being available to us at the grocery store that learning the science of how food grows and how we can harvest it, there's huge benefits to that. The gardens have created a science lesson as students learn about simulated sunlight needed for indoor plants and continuous water flow that provides fresh oxygen. There's like no pesticides used, so it's just like all water and minerals. There's also testing and measuring involved to control the right amount of water. Every once in a while, the pH balance, which is how much nutrients you have in it, will get off from a time to time. So I was over there checking to make sure that we have enough nutrients. The students started gardening from scratch by planting seeds in tiny pods and then arranging them on the towers. Various types of lettuce and herbs can be seen growing like weeds, so the students are constantly harvesting. Learning about harvesting, I mean, it's pretty cool because you get to pick your, out your own plants that you've grown, and, and especially in our classroom. And then also, also cooking with it is a lot of fun too. They're also cooking what they grow, lots of salads and incorporating fresh herbs into their main dishes. Some of the vegetables have been slower to grow, and this reminds the students that gardening can be a science experiment. So they continue to water, supply artificial sunlight, and they even play a role in helping the plants produce fruit. We've got bell peppers growing on the tower. We have blooms, we're pollinating those, and we're hoping and praying that those actually produce some fruit because it's a self-pollinating plant. Mrs. Prather's class has three vertical aeroponic gardens. She was able to purchase them after she wrote and was awarded a grant from the Northside Education Foundation.